Oh, not much. Fixing to meet Earl and them. Yeah, Earl's cousin knows a friend whose mechanic is also a hand fisherman. So we thought we'd tag along and try a little hillbilly hand fishing today. You know, find out what all the fuss was about. What are you doing? Well, no shit we hired a coach. I've been telling you for weeks. We hired Gruden. And them liars on the hill are fixing to tell us here in a day or two. They're telling us today? A press conference? Did you hear this from Tenacious D and them? It's a little early. ESPN? Well, it is Gruden, ain't it? Who? Who the hell is Butch Jones? So you're saying that ESPN's reporting that we hired the Cincinnati coach? And the Gruden ain't coming? No, I'm fine. Hang on. This must be more smoke screeny stuff. You know, when we played them, Cincinnati had that Zach Calaris fellow at quarterback. That was a mighty fine offense. They probably just hired Jones to come in as an interim, you know, till Gruden finishes up Monday Night Gruden and whatnot. And then when he gets here, Jones will slide on over to offensive coordinator. Oh, dear Gruden. I got to go. Have a, have a Gruden. Hey, listen, I'm sorry I couldn't talk earlier. It just hurts so damn bad. It's all my fault. I should have never said his agent looked like Wayne Newton with a perm. That may have hurt Gruden's feelings and I just shouldn't have done it. Maybe that's why he ain't coming. Or maybe it's because I hate saving so much. Gruden's such a damn winner. He probably knows what it's like to be hated like that. And he probably just don't like such ugliness. It ain't right to hate another man like I hate Saban. Even if he does have, you know, a dumbass looking haircut and whatnot. I got a question! What's up with Dave Hart's hair? Did you see them shitty, shitty bang bangs? It's all his fault, you know. The big money men, they had Gruden all teed up. But he had to run off and play little Mr. Big Man and hire his own guy. Oh, it's his fault, all right. Him and that booger-eating chancellor of ours. Oh, God, if you will just please bring Gruden back, I promise I won't ever make fun of Saban no more. Hello. I know, Earl and them told me. No, I ain't going. Huh? I was just sitting here watching Matlock and whatnot. No, no, it's awful. I'm so down in the dumps. I can't even hardly function. Hell, I even tried to sing some Christmas carols a little earlier. Screwed off the red nose ball, coach. Had some kind of stringy hair. Oh, it went fine at first, but after a while I just fell apart. He kind of parts it funny. Maybe because it's not all there. Oh, I just can't. It's not the same. At least Dooley ain't our coach no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, thanks. I'm feeling a lot better. Hey, I even got out some of my Nickelback CDs and gave them a spin today. The way I see it is this. If Gruden really wasn't coming, you had to hire someone. I mean, you couldn't just sit there without no legitimate coach. I mean, shit fire. That's pretty much the approach we took the last three seasons. <laughs> Didn't exactly work now, did it? So good for Hart and them for getting their man. I like the name Butch. Always have. Had a dog named Butch once. Fierce, loyal dog. And that's the way that Coach Jones strikes me. Fierce and loyal. And the guy's a winner. He's won four conference championships in six years. I mean, shit. We're used to a coach who wins four conference games in six years. And did you hear about his open door policy with all the former players? He's already met with Eric Ainge. He turned on the Twitter and told all his followers all about it. And did you hear him in that presser? He said that Tennessee was, and I quote, the best college football program in a uh, in America. And he meant it. Yeah, no, I think it's a good fit. I really do. I mean, shit, he's just as delusional as we are. <laughs> good for hurting them for landing him. You know, I had my eye on him all along. What's that? <laughs> all that Gruden bullshit? Come on, man. You're as gullible as Earl and them. I was just being smoke screeny and whatnot. I'm all about Butch Jones.